Chapter 10 Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Repheth, and Togarmah. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizram, and Phut, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havila, and Sabda, and Ramah, and Sabdeca, and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, wherefore it is said, Even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kelne, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher, and builded Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Kala, and Rezan between Nineveh and Kala. The same is a great city. And Mizram begat Ludam, and Anamam, and Lahabam, and Naphtuhim, and Pathrusam, and Kasluhim, out of whom came Philistim, and Kaphtorim. And Canaan begat Sidon his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivit, and the Archite, and the Sinnet, and the Arvidite, and the Zamarit, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou gost, unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zaboim, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxad beget Salah, and Salah beget Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Pelag, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan beget Almodad, and Shelef, and Hazram of Aeth, and Jera, and Hadram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Apir, and Havila, and Jobab, all these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling was from Mesha. As thou gost unto Sephara mount of the east, these are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Chapter 11 And the whole earth was of one language, and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them throughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old, and begat Arphaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad five hundred years, 
and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and thirty years, and begat Salah. And Arphaxad lived after he begat Salah four hundred and three years, and begat sons and daughters. And Salah lived thirty years, and begat Eber. And Salah lived after he begat Eber four hundred and three years, and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and thirty years, and begat Pelag. And Eber lived after he begat Pelag four hundred and thirty years, and begat sons and daughters. And Pelag lived thirty years, and begat Ru. And Pelag lived after he begat Ru two hundred and nine years, and begat sons and daughters. And Ru lived two and thirty years, and begat Sarag. And Ru lived after he begat Sarag two hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And Sarag lived thirty years, and begat Nahar. And Sarag lived after he begat Nahar two hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And Nahar lived nine and twenty years, and begat Terah. And Nahar lived after he begat Terah an hundred and nineteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And Terah lived seventy years, and begat Abram, Nahar, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahar, and Haran, and Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity, in Ur of the Haldes. And Abram and Nahar took them wives, the name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahar's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Haldes to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran, and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Chapter 12 Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sikkim, unto the plain of Morah. And the Canaanite was then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land, and there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and high on the east, and there he builded an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south. And there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass, when he was come near to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarai his wife, Behold now, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. And it came to pass that, when Abram was come into Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. The princes also of Pharaoh saw her, and commended her before Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. And he entreated Abram well for her sake, and he had sheep, and oxen, and he asses, and menservants, and maidservants, and she asses, and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram, and said, What is this that thou hast done unto me? 
Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why saidst thou, she is my sister? So I might have taken her to me to wife, now therefore behold thy wife, take her, and go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away, and his wife, and all that he had. Chapter 13 And Abram went up out of Egypt, he, and his wife, and all that he had, and lot with him, into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks, and herds, and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee from me, if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes, and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward, and southward, and eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent, and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord.